Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 25 in chapter 14. Chapter 14 is about oscillations. In this one, we can see we have two springs, 1 and 2, and each has a different spring constant, k1 and k2. And then they are connected in two ways, a and b. And then we need to find a period for each one. So for case a, we can see the spring is massless. So it is very similar to the string under the tension, agree? So that means the force at each point of this spring is equal, right? So now we can see uh, the force is equal, so force is constant. And this force, we can see first one at this position, this force equal to the elastic force for spring one. So K1, X1, that tell us the direction for the elastic force, agree? And in this position, the force equal to negative k2 x2 there, negative side to us the equation. And also if we consider spring 1 and spring 2 as a big, huge uh, spring, so that means it's a spring constant k, and it's k x negative, right? And you can see this x must equal to the displacement x1 plus x2 y, because we can see if the spring 1 just have the extension x1, spring 2 has the extension x2, and the total extension must be x1 plus x2, right? Now we can write the equation for x. The equation for x is negative f over k, agree? So look at there, f negative kx, so x is negative f over k, and the x1 is this one, similarly for x2. Now we can see f can be cancelled, we get function for this one. Now we get the spring constant for this huge spring, and then its period can be found in this function. So when then we input the k inside, we get function look like this one. The second part, if we consider this uh, case B, this is two spring just uh, connected with a uh, mass in the middle, and then in this case is the force uh, uh, same? No, because they are different, right? It connected. Uh, it's not connected together. It is just uh, uh, for k1 connected with mass, k2 connected with mass. But then we so we can see if the x1 just uh, is, if x1 is extended, x2 must be compressed. If x uh, x1 compressed, x2 is uh, extended. Do you agree? Yes. So now we can see in this case. Uh, the F1 is a negative K1 X1, no, no problem. This is the elastic force for spring 1 and the elastic force for spring 2, F2 equal to negative K2 X2. Then we can find th this one. See? The negative force for this one is a negative Kx, right? Yes. And then we find because uh, it is in the middle. So if this one is... Uh, Compressed, this one is extended. If this one is extended, this one is compressed. So the force equals both uh, the maximum of them. So F1 plus F2 equal to F. Agree? Yes. Then we can write the F in this function. F1 in this function and F2 in this function. And then in this case, we find the X is them. The X is them. Because we see the, the, this is extended, this is compressed, so the magnitude for x, s1, x2 are same. So we can get the function look like this one for k. Now for the period, we have this function, input the k inside, we get final answer there. Thank you.